Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic with your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman. Also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And uh, we're back from Long Beach Comic Con and we're going to tell you all the cool stuff that happened while we were there. Okay, maybe not all the cool stuff some because you know we have to say, we have to save some for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you want to see all the cool stuff, you should come out there and see us, you know, next year. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, cheap plug. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> um Long Beach Comic Con was really cool. We did some really cool things. We uh, met some really cool people. Um, and we kicked off some books. We had been talking about them for a while that we we're going to put some new books out. And now we're going to we, tell you yeah. what they are. That's right. Yes. First one, our first book ever, Heretic. Did really well. <laughs> yeah, it did. Actually, Heretic did better this time around than it did last time around. Um, we made a couple of changes to the story, some things, but, yeah. you know, it streamlined it a little bit. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, and it's going on hiatus for a while. Yeah, um, the artist right now is in a little bit of a flux, so we need to figure out what's happening there. Yeah, and she's then busy. Yeah, yeah, school, all that, all that stuff. So then yeah. we uh, we debuted our first our first manga. Yay. Yay! It's called Soul Family. Basically, it's a uh, ninjas versus samurai fighting over magic weapons. Uh, it's a manga <laughs> drawn by a Russian, written by a black guy about Japanese people fighting over god weapons. Yeah. So <laughs> offshootcomics.com. Go to this. Go to our store. All right. Go to our store. Our app on Android, iOS. We're uh, we're everywhere. Yeah. Download it or buy it. I mean, if you buy it, you know, you can get it signed uh, by the author. Yeah. And creator. Or if you just wanna just wanna download your app and read it right there, you can do that too. And, and we will still love you just to a lesser degree. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, we we did that one. We had another book called The Project. Yeah, the project. Now we have we have a, a little story about the project. The project actually came about because some guy randomly spit out the word four clones while we were sitting in a room. Yeah, at a Mark Wade panel. Yeah, last, actually two years ago at Long Beach. At Comic Long Beach Comic Con. He's like, give someone give me a dumb idea. He's like, four clones. And everyone's like, that's stupid. We're like, right, 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 right. <laughs> and oh. from that became the the basis of our universe. So you know, four clones guy. Thank yeah. You. Basically, it's about these five death row inmates uh, given powers and forced to be a hit squad because that's always cool to watch. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we also um, show, uh, showed our second issue of our, I guess, our our, our only kids comic and kind of uh, the crowd favorite, Heroes Are Us, because it's about a toy store that sells superpowers. Yeah, and I mean, we uh, <laughs> got to do an event. He actually did the event. I, I stayed at the He's table. He's at the table um, where he was interviewed multiple times. Yeah, not, the, <laughs> not that David is upset about this, but anyway, at the uh, at the event we uh, it, we drew kids into the comic book, and we had uh, over a hundred kids uh, get drawn. I mean, obviously, come on, being put into a comic book about a toy store selling superpowers that's what that's all was wanted. If you're watching this, you wanted that. Yeah, that's pretty, and it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and by by the time you're seeing this, hopefully, uh, if you look on our Facebook, you'll actually get to see some of the kids who got drawn in. Hopefully. Probably not. Hopefully, remember it's Thanksgiving week when we're shooting this, so anything can happen. That's true. Uh, another cool thing is, if any of you out there watch South Park, there was an episode a few years ago called "Make Love, Not Warcraft." It was the start. It was the Warcraft episode, and um, you remember uh, the, the, the four boys? They had to fight basically the the, the computer nerd guy who was just like that that uh, like a fat guy at a at a table, not really caring about life. <laughs> well, if you follow BlizzCon this year, this guy cosplayed with the desk and all. He was drawn into Heroes R Us, and he's going to be a villain in issue four. Uh, hopefully, the picture is on the screen right now. But yeah, we're really excited about that. That was pretty cool. And after he did it, a bunch of adults started doing it too, because they're like, "Well, secretly, I want to be a superhero." <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny because like we were we we did a lot of things that were um, aimed at kids. Yeah, you know, like we made we we have um, a coloring book that we're starting to work on, and we decided to put a few of the pages of the coloring book out for kids to take, and at first, kids did take them. Yeah. And then a few kids didn't care, and their parents were like, "We know yeah. you took it. Yeah. We like, know it was for these you. These are cool, and this is for me." Uh, uh, they were trying to say, "Yeah, but you can color, color this later." You're like, "No, nah, I'm gonna color this later." <laughs> like, like uh, you should put up the picture. You should put up the picture of Overclock. Okay. okay. This is a picture of Overclock. Okay. Overclock's a girl. This one little girl walked up, 
and looked at Overclock and took it. And then her dad walked over and was like, "Don't you want this picture of Hero? Right? And Candace yeah. And also? You, you want these, right? You, I'm just gonna take these. They're free. I'm gonna take these. <laughs> and we we ain't mad at you, man. We we like a lot of kids. They they really like the coloring book, uh, like the coloring pages. So we've decided we're gonna pursue we'll the coloring, coloring book. book and. If we're up to it, if we feel like we have enough time, we'll do a coloring comic book. It's going to be awesome. Details come later. <laughs> yeah, see, and for, for those of you who want to know what the difference is, it's going to be, it, it'll be like cheaper paper, so it's like something that people, the kids are actually meant to color on, but the, with larger right. pictures. And somehow, so, the cheaper paper is somehow more expensive to print on. Yeah, go, go figure. Go figure. <laughs> But yeah, we made a lot of contacts with, with a few different school groups. Uh, we were interviewed on ccalifornia.com. Uh, there should be a link somewhere. If not, then just go to ccalifornia.com and just look for the one thing about Long Beach Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we had we had a great time. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Oh my god, it was it was the most work we've ever had to do at a con because for the first time we were at two separate places at the same time. We we never had our own panel that lasted. By the way, the panel was supposed to last an hour each day. Um, I guess we just destroyed the car and we had like four hours total. <laughs> like one was more like four and a half. I was yeah, five. One one guy actually came and set up for his turn, then saw how that we had like a bunch of kids in line and was like, ah, I lost this round. He just packed up and walked away. If you're watching this, I'm sorry, we didn't even see you. The con said we could stay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of awesome things happen. You know what the weird thing is, though? Like, I was at a table for 99% of the con. Mm -hmm. Actually, 99.5% of the con. Mm -hmm. In the last 15 minutes of the con, my mom and my kids came, and I spent $80. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. 15 minutes till door close time. Con life, man. I walked away from a table, and it cost me $80. You know what that tells you? I love my kids and my mom. Don't leave the table. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the kids are your mom. That's that's where we're going. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was it was it was a fun time. And I want to give a shout out to our artist Joanne Kwan, who did Heroes Are Us. Um, she drew the over hundred kids, and she was not even tired. But uh, major props, because obviously without the artist, it wouldn't happen. Because I can't draw. I could write you a character really well. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, so we'll be doing it again. WonderCon, April 16th to 18th in Anaheim. Mm -hmm. We're going to be small press, which means we're moving on up. Yay! Yep. So it's going to be really cool. Y'all should come out. We're going to have a bunch of new books. We have a couple that people were really excited about at this con. We have posters for it. We've got Heroes Are Us, issue three coming out. They, mm -hmm. they fight a space alien and come on. You know you love it. Children fighting space aliens. You got you right. come, on, come on. Come, come on. <laughs> um, we, we've got a, a, a book called Magic School Grisevia coming out. Basically, it's about a magic school and fighting. That's really all you need to know. And what would the name of this magic school be? Just, uh, it's just Grisevia. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what word I don't know where you yeah. would have gotten that from. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the title. But <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, we have a book called Wolves coming out. Um, this one is about a group of tech assassins sent to kill anyone who's basically special. <laughs> so if you Which can is like half of our universe, like if you could see well, or you have fire powers, or you could fly, they're gonna kill you. It sucks yeah. for you. <laughs> that one, one guy actually wanted to pre-buy the book, and I'm like, mm, I don't feel good about selling a book that doesn't exist technically yet. Like we got a couple pages done, but like I want it to be completely done before I mm. take your money. But thank you, dude. You're a good man. <laughs> yeah, no, also, um, at, at WonderCon, we'll be debuting our um, novels division. Oh, we'll, be doing, we'll be doing mini novels. Um, now, we're hoping to have three of them out. We're definitely going to have one of them out um, until we get a few more details and know who exactly is going to debut. I'm not going to get into everything because I don't want to leave anyone out. Yeah. But know that we do have at least one novel that is going to be debuted in WonderCon uh, well mini novel and we're hoping that uh, you'll get a chance to come out take a look get a good read it, it's, it's a good read and buy it's it. a good read and buy it I mean so yeah it's just a great time shout out to Kablam our printer who we now love and adore <laughs> because you got it out to us in the two week time slot and so cheap and affordable. Yeah, so under so much under cost. And oh, it, 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 it really was like the, like the highest quality books we've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, we came in well. Originally, we came in fifteen hundred dollars under budget. By the time it was all said and done, we were like a hundred dollars. But hey, but it's still under budget. under budget. It's under budget. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we had a great time, and hope you guys come out. We had a few people, a few of our fans from Facebook find us at the table. Mm -hmm. That 
made our heads get super huge. <laughs> but yeah, so remember, keep looking out for us. We're on iOS, Android, and our store is now open. So buy things. Mm -hmm. Also, the, the I'm not saying I hate iOS, but the Android app is a little better. There's a Twitter feed and a Facebook like. He's saying he hates There's, iOS. I do hate iOS because, I mean, come on, but. The, our Android app, for some reason, just has more features and just looks prettier and works more well or were. <laughs> also, that is a word. Um, uh, now, a we'll get back to normal next week. Um, we have a couple things we're working on. We have a, uh, a new video series called uh, Respect. Basically, we're going to highlight a few characters from Marvel, DC, or just fiction in general. Yeah, people who maybe you don't have as much respect for as you Aquaman. probably should. Aquaman. Yeah, we're going to let you know why you should have more respect for them. Starting with Aquaman. Aquaman you have to terrible. start with Aquaman. He is. He, yeah. Aquaman is not terrible. He is, and you will find out Aquaman. why next week. He's, he doesn't even like his own name. I, That's okay. because his Fair real name is Arthur King. Of I am. The in, I am in the middle of reading Kingdom Come, which is a pretty good book, and he's all like talking to Wonder Woman, Superman. I don't want to be Aquaman. Like, stop calling me that. Leave me alone. I passed the name on. They're like, but we need you. No, <laughs> <laughs> I put that behind me. I have an epic beard now. <laughs> <laughs> That's because when your name is like Arthur, King of the Sea, you know, Aquaman is a little. Eh. Yeah, like which, like who are you? I'm I'm the guy in the water. I am King Arthur. Aquaman. Yeah, he's Aquaman. He's, he's Lord of two thirds of the world. Yeah, and, and, and that two thirds will always lose against the the, the surface world. And uh, always. And um, spoiler alert: he beat Namor. I'm just saying. Namor's a little punk because he followed Scott Summers. Yeah. See, but if you asked me this last year, I, like, like how I felt about that, I'd be like, no, Namor wins. But no, <laughs> no, Namor, you have wings <laughs> on your feet. <laughs> and why do wings this big are able to make him fly? I, right. I, I'm just saying. We had this conversation earlier. There are there are no really really powerful heroes that have wings, and Namor is one of those characters that does not count. There is somebody powerful with wings. I will find them, and by next week. I will shout them out. And if you know somebody who's super, super powerful, I'm talking like Superman, Hulk, not not really Thor. He's Thor not doesn't really, have wings. Thor's though. not really up there. Uh, like really, really freaking powerful, like Goku kind of characters that have wings. Because I can't think of any. I can't either right now. But there's one. There's got to be one. Hawkman ain't it. I will find one. Yes. There is one. Anyone in anime, video games, or comic books, besides Sephiroth, because he only has one wing... That doesn't count. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer them. And if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.